welcome the lovely Carrie Mulligan, everybody. Carrie Mulligan. Let me say, welcome first of all, and your hair looks lovely. You've had a cut since the film, I see. <laughs> yeah, I have. Is that your hair in the film? Yeah, it is my hair in the film. Oh, that's nice. Well, I'm, my hair's a bit of a sore topic, though. I miss my hair. Do you really? What, did you get it cut for a film? Are you in a sci-fi film now no, or something? No, I was in... <laughs> I was in, um... I did, like, a tiny extra part in Public Enemies, you know, the Johnny Depp... Yes, yes, yes. Hey. And I got really into it, and they said, you know, will you dye your hair? And I just said yes, because I thought that would advance my career. So they dyed my hair, and, and then it just turned to straw, so I cut it off. They dyed my hair when I started on this show. Really? Yeah! <laughs> they said, dye your hair because you're a creepy. Uh, <laughs> You're, you're too old and you're creepy and you'll scare people. So I dyed my hair and I looked even more creepy with dyed hair. But you you've got strong blue eyes. Yeah, I have. And oh, then good. with my creepy dyed hair, oh, yeah. yeah. I looked like I was, you know, from a cult. <laughs> but you're, 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 your hair isn't uh, you're well, not creepy at all. A you're adorable. Now. Do you play a very young person in this film? I do. I play a 16-year-old. And what age are No, actually, I shouldn't ask you what age you are. You're not 16. You're older than 16, yeah. aren't you? Because this show is live and you'd be up past your bedtime otherwise. No. <laughs> Are you having trouble getting like, your feet reaching no, the ground no. there? No, no. This is... I haven't worn high heels for ages and then... Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> and so I put them on and then I started walking and I fell over and so I'm... I'm really? really bad and things like this, so I'm... I wore high heels once when I was in the Rocky Horror Show. <laughs> really? I had to dance in four-inch high heels best damn year of my life. <laughs> Do you like the dancing? Do you go dancing with your young friends dancing. from MySpace and such? <laughs> do you do the, tweet the tweeters? <laughs> the tweeters? Yeah, you know, the tweeters. You know, oh, the current mood, mm. you know, saucy no, and all I that stuff. Do that. No, you don't know. <laughs> well, what, 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 do you, what do the young folks do then now? I don't know. You'd have to ask the young folks. Well, you're one. You represent your generation with your films and your hair. My hair? Yeah. <laughs> Um, I know I don't do the dancing thing or the tweeting. Well, twitching. what do you do then for recreation when you're not acting? Do you like to go... A ski. You ski. A ski? Yeah. I've just come back from skiing. Did you wear a helmet? Yes, I did. Oh. Yeah. Really? Well, yeah, you don't wear a helmet? I just can't get used to the idea that you have to wear a helmet. You well, you do. It doesn't look cool. I know, it's very serious. Yeah, no, you, yeah, you, yeah, do, no, you, you have do, to. You have but to it's suddenly helmet. become, it's like... Yeah. Do you do uh, the snowboarding as no. well? No. I hate snowboarders. It's horrible. I know, with their cutting in they're front like of you the and everything. They're like bullies at school. They are. They're, they're kind of horrible. zipping around. You know what they're like? If they were Harry Potter, the snowboarders would be in Slytherin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to relate to the young and Shut the hell up! I've Did you understand what I said there? Vaguely, but I've never seen Harry Potter. What do you mean you've never seen Harry Potter? Oh, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Are you sure you're young? <laughs> I don't think you're young at all. I think you're just a rather fresh midget. <laughs> <laughs> now, you are adorable, of course. Now, uh, are you... You're English? Yeah, I'm English. Oh, right. Where do you live? England? Yeah. <laughs> What's it like over there, then? It's nice. Is it really? Yeah. Well, in London? Yeah, in London. Which part? I used to live in London. Did you? Mm -hmm. Where? Islington. So do I. Shut up! <laughs> 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 I did, I did. Oh, Susan. no, because now if you... Because I, I don't really live in Islington. I live oh. sort of just... No, I do, but I live Crouch like... End? You live in Crouch End? No, Holloway. Holloway? That's where the women's Islington. prison is in London. I am between two prisons. There's another prison. Me too, in many ways. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, yeah. So, you live in Holloway near the women's prison. Do you ever yes. go up there with nuns to help out? <laughs> to the prisons? Yeah. My no, name's Mulligan. Yet. Are your family Irish? My dad's from Liverpool. Which so is in England, Irish. but yes, I know what you mean. There's yeah. a lot of Irish people live in Liverpool. Yeah. yeah. Do you uh, know the Beatles? My uh, dad's claim to fame is that he was delivered by Paul McCartney's mother. <laughs> I know you're all Hollywood and everything, but that's big where I come no, from. No, no, wait, 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 wait. How dare you say I'm all Hollywood? Look at me. Look at this. You've been around movie sets. You've met Johnny Depp. Look at this crap. I'm not a Hollywood... That looks really real on telly. Does it really? It is real. <laughs> it is real. <laughs> Do you know what that 
is out there, what that really is. That's a photograph of a town called Reno. No, it's meant to be L.A., but I think everyone's turned their lights off. Do you like Los Angeles? Do you enjoy it? I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a tough place to get around. Not if you've got a car. Do I you have a car? <laughs> you don't drive? No, I don't drive. I failed horribly. I had to learn. I did a film called Never Let Me Go last year, and I had to learn for that. So they did one of those intensive things where you have to drive, like, seven hours a day. It's been so long since I learned to drive, I can't remember. It's horrible. And so I failed really badly, like, four majors, and they had to ask me to stop the car and all that kind of... Where did you sit your driving test? Britain? Yeah, in London. Because I in saw... In North London. Well, see, that's... You don't want to sit at you North London. I sat my driving test in Lowestoft in Surrey. Oh, right. right? So... No, not Surrey, uh, Suffolk. Right. Lowestoft in Suffolk. And I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> True. No, I'm not saying this is what you should do, right. but I passed first time. Confidence. I'm confident. I was blasé. I was, I was like, what are you like doing then? And all, I, was, I was talking to him and How everything. How old were you, if you don't mind me asking? 27. See, that's the thing. I still haven't learned. I've got till I'm 27. You've got till you're 27. Look, please in no way try and base your life on mine, young lady. <laughs> Because it's not, I was, I was once Spanish. as pretty and as fresh as you, and now look at me. I'm horrible. I'm horrible. So, uh, wait, are you going back to London after this then? Yeah. Do you go to the theatre in London? Do you go and see the plays and stuff? I'd rather miss the that. Plays. Do you? Yes, I used to like going to see plays and judging the actors for how bad they were. I like doing that. Too. I love doing that. No, I do. I do see plays. I, I did a play at the Almeida in Islington. I know the Almeida Theatre in Islington. Islington. I used to go there. There's a very nice pub just down there where I went to. <laughs> Do you remember Minogue's? It used to be on the green. I went. That was where I had my last drinking binge before I went to rehab. In <laughs> Minogue's. <laughs> I don't know Minogue's. But you probably know some drunk people, though. <laughs> I do, I do know a few. Are they still drinking as much over there, or was it just me? No, they are, they are. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's a bad business, all that, really. All that, it? yeah. Yeah. Terrible. You, of course, you're a mulligan from where you probably have. Do you have a drink problem? <laughs> That's why I'm here. You can tell me, you know. Think of this as celebrity us. rehab, but not as right, highly right, rated. Right, right, right. No, I don't, luckily, but I, yeah, I'm a mulligan. I'm Irish. It's in us. Yeah, yeah. What is that mulligan thing? That's a, what is that, a mulligan? It's a golf thing. It's a golf thing. Yeah, that's right, when you it's drop your ball. It's a retaken golf shot. Say it again? <laughs> a retaken golf shot. A retaken golf yeah, shot. Yeah, I said So drop it's like your... you make a mistake and then you go again, which yeah. is kind of a nice... That is a nice thing. Make yeah. a mistake. And... Yeah. I will say you are a delightful young woman and you Thank are welcome you. here any time. Thank you. All right. The very lovely Carrie Mulligan, everybody. We're <laughs> She's just an all kinds of adorable. <laughs> Please welcome Carrie Mulligan, everybody. Hello, dear. Hello. It's lovely to see you. I, I haven't seen you since the horrifyingly wonderful sketch that we did at the start of the show. We did some acting together. We did, well, you did acting and I did someone sitting next to an actor. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that uh, Fred Molina was in this uh, film with you. Which yes. probably gives away the fact that I haven't seen it yet. No, but, no. No, I'm going to see it tonight, actually. Bollocks. I am. <laughs> you? you can't say bollocks. I can't say bollocks. No. <laughs> You, you can, and then I think what they do is they, uh, the censors have a slang dictionary and they look up to see That's if... That's not that bad a word. What, bollocks? It's as bad as... Hey, <laughs> caramba! <laughs> they don't know about bollocks? Oh, I blew it now! Oh, well, never mind. No, I, I, I am going to see it tonight. Okay. I, um, I'm going to see it with a friend. <laughs> Melina, he's here all the time. He does sketches here and yeah, stuff. Mate. He played your dad in the film? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. You should see it. It's a good film. I've heard it's really good. Yeah. I'm sorry I haven't seen it. No, I, I don't I, mind. I, I, went, I went to see I only see one movie every month. That's my rule. Oh, good. So what have you seen? Avatar. Oh, right. What do you think? <laughs> have you seen it? Yeah. It's awesome, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That, you you want to be in that. We could talk about that if you were in that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you got an Oscar nomination. No, that's fantastic. No, yeah. really, I mean, that's great. Have, have they given you free clothes and diamonds and stuff? No, everyone says that you get that, but I've not got that yet. What the, well, what the hell have you got, then? Uh, you get a little piece of paper saying you won an Oscar, and if uh, you got nominated for an Oscar, and if you win oh, it... Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 that's good. That's good.
good. That's no. good. That's like you Get telling. Your mug. Yeah, yeah, I got my cup. Yeah, I won that for for uh, Lenny the Wonder Dog. <laughs> That's a real movie, by the way. I'm in that movie. I like. know. I was told. I oh, want to yeah. see it. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no disrespect to all the many people who worked very hard in that movie, but we'll hope. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, no. Anyway. Um, so they didn't give you any free stuff? No, but you get like the a little certificate saying you've been nominated. Well, that's like a driver's license or something, doesn't it? Which I got. You got your driver's license? Yeah, right? yeah, I got it yesterday. I got it yesterday. Did they give you a driver's license with an Oscar nomination? <laughs> You can get away with anything when you're nominated for an That's Oscar. fantastic. No, I got I went and I did my test finally and now I can drive. In LA? In but LA. you could drive in Britain before. No, I could never I couldn't drive anywhere. And this is your oh, <laughs> oh. Well how exciting have you bought a car? No, I'm borrowing one. That's illegal in America. <laughs> You're not allowed to just borrow a car. It's not, it's not the bicycle system in Amsterdam we're talking about here. I know there's a lot of cars around you. You don't just go, oh, I fancy that one. And then off you go. You can't do that. Oh. You're borrowing, a, what kind of a car is it? I'm borrowing an Audi. Oh, that's fine. They advertise on CBS, don't they? Well, they do now. <laughs> well, that's lovely. I, yeah. I, are you good at driving? I'm brilliant. I'm an excellent driver, yeah. What? Well, you, really? No, I am. How hard is the test here? Oh. Pretty easy, isn't <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, so I know. Easy. I had to reset it when I came. Why? I don't know. Oh, Did because the... you came over from... From, yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, the country that must not be right. named, yeah. Cold Yeah, place. it's cold, yeah, yeah. Driving, is it? Well, the horse goes at the front, the car goes at the back. No, I, I had to reset my test here. But it's easy here. Oh, it? it's, yeah. L.A., you said, did you, that place in Santa Monica or the one in Hollywood? Hollywood. Oh, yeah. It's just drive around the block, don't shoot anyone, you're good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really I failed is. the first two times. I, uh... <laughs> so that's good. Are you going to go out on road trips and stuff? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you should. I've just been sort of, I just like, I like listening to music and, and driving. going around. What, you, what kind of music do you listen to? Oh, young... Young people music? Young people music. That I wouldn't understand. <laughs> Young people music that I wouldn't understand. Yeah. That's what they're saying, isn't it? Yeah, you're right. Do you listen to any of the carpenters? Do you enjoy it? I listen to young people music and I and I tweet and I, I Facebook. Do you tweet? I, do you tweet? You I don't really tweet, don't. do you? No. no, but you do in a big way. And your new um, opening title thing is very, it's very cool. Oh, the new, I've yeah, we did that. that. Yeah, 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 we went out, we had a camera. You had a fountain. And they, they, over at the Grove, they let me swim in the fountain oh, with a the fish. Grove? Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Oh, we don't travel here. <laughs> no, we went over at the Grove and I jumped in the fountain and they filmed it. It was like, the, remember Friends? Yes, well, yeah. that's what I yeah. thought. Yeah. <laughs> it was like Friends, except with someone who wasn't pretty. Oh, but you get all wet. And, I do know. get all wet, yeah. <laughs> Oh, grow up, for God's sake. <laughs> ah, so, you're driving around in your car in L.A. Like, yeah, that's good, saying, I've, uh, I've got an Oscar nomination, bitches. Do you shout that out the window or anything? Occasionally, yeah. A lot of people kissing your ass I have a banner, right I have a little flag. Yeah, thing. you should. I mean, this is the full-on ass-kiss period that any actor will ever experience, from the nomination to the ceremony. Right. If you don't win it, they will call you a loser. Right. Immediately. But... This is the point. You can get anyone to do anything here. Okay. It's like you've got your own army of robot skeletons. <laughs> what do you want to do? Well, I don't want to do anything. You should do it. They won't oh, do anything for do me. If they, yeah, you must do it. I can't do but it. But you're on telly. You can get stuff. Are you kidding me? This is not telly. It's CBS. <laughs> I don't know what... It's not even proper CBS with the uh, uh, solving crimes and stuff. It's just some old douche in the middle of the night after day. It doesn't even, it doesn't oh, count. no. Yeah. But you've got the fountain, looks like Vegas, you've got all that going on. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. Now you mention it, I feel... I do you feel, feel like, better? Yeah, I do, actually. <laughs> I feel lifted. Do you? Your positive young person attitude has scared away my grumpy old cynicism. <laughs> it's almost like it's a film. Wow. It's like, I'm, oh, I'm grumpy old talk show host, I've got no time for anyone, and then you come with your radiant beauty and hopefulness, and I'm kind of like, you know, maybe we should have a Christmas party after all. <laughs> We should do it. We should do that. That'd be a good film, that, wouldn't it? Yeah. I, they won't let me be in it, though. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll be played by, like, George Clooney or something like that. Would you? 
<laughs> yeah, because it'd be somebody completely far too handsome for the role. You know, because if I could be George Clooney, I'd be beat. I can remember. George Clooney, I would be here doing this. <laughs> Bollocks is clearly fine if you Bollocks keep saying Bollocks is fine, that, actually, yeah, it, it is, yeah. So what are you going to do when you're here, then, for the Oscars? You've got to get free stuff. Free oh, stuff. Well, I didn't know. Okay, I've got to, yeah, I'll get, I'll get free stuff. What kind of free stuff do you want? Car? Oh, cars and boats and things. A boat? <laughs> I do you know. go boating? No, I don't, I don't. But what do you get? I mean, you don't get that. Um, I don't get free stuff, no. no. I don't have an Oscar nomination, that's what I'm telling you. Oh, I think, I don't know, iPods and things. iPod? <laughs> <laughs> You've got to aim a little higher. Do I? Yeah. This is America, this is a land of opportunity. No, you don't just I say, think... oh, could I have an iPod? <laughs> you know, I mean, this is, the, this, this is the epicenter of the commercial world right here in this country. This is where it all comes from. You can have anything. I don't think they do it that big anymore. I think, really? you know, economy, blah, 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 you don't oh, get... right, yeah. Well, uh, Sorry to kill your whole thing. No, but... it's all right. I don't really, I don't really mind. Um... <laughs> yeah. You're right, then. Yeah, no, I'm good. Would you come back on this show if you won an Oscar? If I won an Oscar? Yeah, you probably come would. Come back on this show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, well, Fred Molina's. He's he, awesome. He comes back on the show. Does he? Yeah, I don't think he has an Oscar though. No, but he's good though. He is awfully good. He is very good. Yeah, I nearly made out with him once. Really? In a sketch, yeah. Did you? He was playing Sherlock Holmes, and I was playing Angela Lansbury. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, have you got that sketch? Why I'd right? love to yeah, we'll see that. It. Yeah, no, it's, it's it's he comes in and he's playing all Sherlock Holmes, and I was playing Angela Lansbury, who, you know, for the purposes of what we do here, bears a striking resemblance to Sir Paul McCartney. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of had to be there, right, is yeah, what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I nearly made out with him. Our lips were like this close. Oh, isn't he lovely? Yes, yeah. But when he gets that close, then I started to think, oh, maybe not that lovely. He's awfully tall. Very tall, Very tall and, uh, and large. Lovely minty breath, though. Yes. I didn't. I didn't notice that. No, he was playing your dad for God's mm, sake. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. He's a hugger, though. He gives. He is a hugger. Hugs. Yeah, he's, he's friend, hugger. friendly. Friendly. A little too friendly. <laughs> With me, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're out of time. Oh, are we? Yeah. That felt really short. Well, I could bump the next guest. No, no. <laughs> You want me to bump the next? <laughs> bump the next? It's okay. I, I, I mean, it's not a big ship, but I'm the captain. <laughs> I can do it. You want to hang around? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you do. No. All right then. Well, we won't okay. because what the the guest that's coming up is my favourite. Oh, who? I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you sometimes. <laughs> the very lovely Oscar winner to be, Kerry Mulligan, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> That's not how it works. You point it. <laughs> you don't, it's very easy. You know what that is. Please welcome Carrie Mulligan, everybody. Carrie! Hi! Hello, dear. Hello. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. You look fantastic. Look Thanks. at you. you. You look all lovely and grown up and everything. Thanks. Well, the last time you were here, you were, you know, you were very young. And now you're still quite young, but you're taller. Uh-huh. Yeah. This movie looks good, but that's not how you oh, use it. Oh, it's moody you... acting. Oh, that's right. my moody acting. Did the television go off when you did that, though? No, it's movie magic. See, there's oh. no TV. There's no TV there? You acted a TV? I acted a TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know if there'll be an Oscar, but there's a dollar in it. There you go. Hey, hey. How have you been? Are you good? I'm good. I'm yeah. good. Did How you make you? that film in New York? I did. Oh, that's nice there, isn't it? It's lovely. Yeah. Do you live there now? I don't. Oh. <laughs> 
You've got a new pal I haven't seen him. Oh, yeah, Jeff, yeah, yeah. I, I Hold me. <laughs> I don't know if I care for him much, but I... <laughs> But the audience seem to like him, so he's, he's around for a bit, uh, I guess. Don't you dare clap. <laughs> so, uh, how, you shot it in New York then. Did you, did you live in New York while you were shooting it there then? I did. Mm, in a hotel? In a hotel. Really? Mm. Was it haunted? <laughs> <laughs> was that a haunted hotel? It wasn't. I sometimes pretend hotels are haunted. Why? Because then you get the free room service. <laughs> I say, you know, I'll say, I think my room's haunted. I need some kind of hunky bellboy to come up with a sandwich. <laughs> have you ever, have you ever stayed over at someone's house and you were attracted to them, but you weren't really, didn't know where to go with it, so, and you, didn't, and you were kind of like staying in a separate room, so you pretended to them that a ghost was in your room so you could sleep with them? I've done that. <laughs> Surely I can't be the only one that does that, though. Do you know, I, I hate haunted houses. That's the one thing. I, I can do roller coasters, and I, but, you know, the, the haunted house that... Yeah. Oh, I the haunted house that... Oh, I no. get really violent, you know, with the... Um, <laughs> with the minimum with the wage guys. actor going like that with a hand? Oh, oh yeah. Ay, caramba! Don't I can't say, don't handle... you, you can't cuss on this show. Oh. <laughs> no, no, I'm really like the man with the saw and all that. I'm like... I can't, I can't, I get very... What man very with a saw? <laughs> Did you see a man with a saw in your hotel room? That's scary. Uh, yeah. So where do you live now then? Are you still in London? Yeah. Oh, you well, must be I'm very going, tall for a Londoner I now. Am. Yeah. yeah. You must tower over those tiny little cockneys. I do. Yeah. <laughs> do they worship you as their queen? In Holloway. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here she comes now. Look at her mighty beauty. Well, that's lovely. Mm. But you look, uh, you look, well, actually, I was going to say you look tan, but you don't look that tan, actually. Uh, I think I look quite pale. Yeah, you know, you do look very lovely. Pale, lovely and pale. You look quite tan. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm tan. Well, but that's just stuff they put on me so as I don't frighten people who can't sleep. <laughs> argument is that if they didn't put makeup on me, the lighting is so bad that I'd be able to be seen because I'd be paler. Mm -hmm. I mean, people are probably now thinking, who's that lovely pretty girl? She's hearing voices. <laughs> because they can't see me except my hands moving. Mm -hmm. Have you got uh, any tattoos yet? I don't have any tattoos. I'd like to get a little tattoo. Uh, be careful. Why? Because you really should, your first tattoo should be very big. <laughs> Oh, you know, it just it gets it out of the way. Right. What, what are you thinking of getting done? Well, my my um, makeup and my hair lady and my my they're my kind of really close friends. Right. And weirdly, they all have stars on their feet. Everyone, our whole little team, and, and my stylist has a little star. So I thought maybe I'd get a little star, star on your feet, like a dream team thing. <laughs> sounds really awful, but... Well, no, it doesn't really sound awful. awful. Why would it, it doesn't no, sound I awful? No, I wish I hadn't awful. said it now. It sounds really no. awful. Well, it listen, sounds really Hollywood. Stick around. Silly. I mean, I, half of the stuff I say on this show, I wish I hadn't said. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you see the monologue? I wish I hadn't said any of that. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. It's said it and it's out. Don't you have a Twitter or something? You can explain yourself later. No, we talked about Twitter. I don't Twitter. No, you don't, do you? You're very English in that regard. Although English people Twitter. They do. Yeah, yeah. And they also enjoy eating strange food. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I mean, you know, meat pies with oh, jelly yeah, deals yeah, in yeah. them and stuff. Yeah. Do you eat jelly deals? I can't. Oh, really? Are you allergic to eels? No, I'm just, that's disgusting. <laughs> Pretty much. If, like, if, if, but if it was a big eel, because jelly deals is usually like little eels all kind of writhing, but if someone said, oh, we've got a lovely eel today in the fishmongers, and it was a large eel that if you cut it, it looked like a piece of cod, would you eat it? No, because it's got that, like, rubbery texture, is the word I was going for. So you that you mean? base your diet on texture? I do, I do really? totally base my diet. So do you like soft foods or hard? I foods? don't like clementines the way they kind of taste in your mouth when they. Oh, break you mean apart the small oranges? Little, mm. Clementines. Oh, you adorable. Know what they're called? Mandarins. Mandarins, tangerines, clementines—they're all kind of the same thing. <laughs> I look forward to your letters. 
<laughs> I think they're all, they're all small, tasty fruit balls. Yeah, but they break apart in your mouth in a really kind of unpleasant way. You don't like that? No. Oh, well, what do you like to feel in your mouth? Then? <laughs> that was a perfectly legitimate question to someone who bases their diet on texture. <laughs> what kind of texture do you enjoy? Crunchy? You know, sort of reliable. <laughs> Reliable? It sounds like you eat tweed. <laughs> no, but you know, when you, when you, oh, what are you doing? Well, we better talk about the movie then. So in the movie, oh. you know, stuff happens, I'll bet. Yeah. That'll be good. Yeah. So, do you, what do you eat then? I don't know. <laughs> It's kind of on my mind. I'm going for Korean barbecue tonight. Korean barbecue? Yeah, and I've never Ooh, done it and I'm really excited. That's lovely, yeah. yeah. Have you ever been to North Korea and met Kim Jong-il? <laughs> He'd like you. <laughs> Do you know he kidnapped an actress once? Why? Well, he's crazy. <laughs> he kidnapped this actress and he made her act in films. <laughs> he's really nuts. Do we have a picture of him? Do we? No. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> I think How do they do that? What? what do you mean? How do they get a picture of him so fast when you randomly Well, I sometimes him? say... Oh, he... you plan things? No, 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 no. I... I... You say I'm no, going to no. talk about Kim <laughs> I... Yeah, I, I plan things. No, what we did was that it's every now and again I talk about him and I say, do we have a picture of him? Oh, you always him? have him? Yeah, yeah, because oh, okay. I think he looks like an angry lesbian. <laughs> do we... And then I would say, do we have a picture of an angry lesbian? And then they go, yeah. And then I say... It's the same principle as, do we have a picture of Paul McCartney? And they go, like that, you see? <laughs> it's, just, it's just something I do. I try not to do it, but this studio is haunted, Harry. <laughs> so a movie looks good, then. What happens in it? <clears throat> Stuff. Oh, boy. <laughs> What are you doing after this film then? Doing another film? I'm doing another film now. Oh, really? Yeah. Cartoon? <laughs> you should do one of them cartoons. That's where the money is. Yeah, I know, oh, really. Oh, yeah. I did no. one of them dragon no movies. No one's asked me. Yes, you have. I did. I did that How to Train Your Dragon movie. Guess how much money I got? Tons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got my own skeleton. Yeah. Not that much. No. What are you doing then? What movie are you doing? I'm doing a, um, a thing called Drive, like an, sort of an action-y, gangster -y thing. Awesome! Do you, are Killings. you a ninja? <laughs> I'm not a ni no, I'm sort of the damsel. Yeah. Do you yeah. kick anyone's ass? I, I, I get a bit of a slap in there. And then you start doing the film? <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you slap somebody in a film and that's an action I, no, movie? I've never slapped anyone in my whole life. You've never slapped anyone? No. Who do you slap in the Drive movie then? I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to ruin it. Well, it won't ruin it just by talking about it. <laughs> well, it might. Are it you might very OCD? Do you have this thing like, I can't talk about movies in case they're ruined? <laughs> no. Because that's going to work against you on the late night talk show circuit, let me tell you. <laughs> I can talk about movies. I, I can talk right. about... Yeah, no, I slap, talk about the I slap Ryan Gosling in it. Oh, really? Mm. I'd slap him. <laughs> nah, not really. He's been here, hasn't he, Ryan Gosling? No. <laughs> Do you know what? This is true. Like, I said to them once, let's get Rhea Perlman back on the show. You know Rhea Perlman, the actress? Mm. Right. I said, let's get Rhea Perlman back on the show. And they're like, she's never been here. And I'm like, yes, she has. Rhea Perlman. She was in that show. Taxi. Taxi, yeah. And they said she hasn't. And we checked, and she's never been here. And yet I can fully remember sitting <laughs> talking to Rhea Perlman. And Danny DeVito, her husband, was here, and he's like, she's never been here. She doesn't know who you are. And I'm like... <laughs> so the only conclusion I can draw is that this studio is haunted <laughs> by a ghost who looks a bit like Rhea Perlman. Awkward I pause? have stayed oh. in a Oh, did you want to do an awkward pause? No, 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 no. We'll do an awkward pause in a minute. Tell me about your haunted house. I have stayed in a haunted house, I Where? think. Here in LA, my friend Seamus McGarvey, who's a cinematographer. I know Seamus! I want you know Seamus! Yes! I love Seamus! Yes, oh, doctor, how are you? <laughs> Seamus, yes, of course I did a movie with Seamus. He's, He's my, lovely. Yeah, so yes. I stayed, so I, I was like, oh, I have nowhere to stay for this one night that I was in LA. And so Seamus was like, you, you stayed in my house, Dr. Mulligan. Did right. he say that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty much like that. And he was going out to this thing where he was going to be out all night, you know. 
Yeah. Whatever. Yes, that's Seamus. Yeah. <laughs> so he let me stay in his house, and then and then I was sort of almost there, and I was getting dropped off by a taxi, and he sent me a text message saying, "By the way, it's slightly haunted." And I was like. <laughs> Slightly haunted. Wait a minute. Did Seamus say, by the way, my house is slightly haunted. You might want to sleep in my bed so that when I come back, you won't be scared by the ghost in my house because it'll be me coming in to cuddle you and keep you safe. Because that's how he got me. We gotta go. We don't even have time for a pause. Oh, no. You want to try one then? Yeah. All right, then. We don't have time for an awkward pause, so we'll have to do a quick awkward pause. All right, then. You ready? Mm. All right. Later, but, but we've got some pretty impressive guests tonight, right, Jeff? Oh, it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> our, our first guest today, an Oscar nominated actress. I mean, come on! I mean, come on! I mean, people. come on! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. She didn't win. <laughs> she was nominated, though. If she won, she'd be on NBC. But then. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a new film based on exactly what I'm doing right now. It's called Shame. It's in theatres. December the 2nd, please welcome the absolutely spectacular Carrie Mulligan, everybody. Carrie Mulligan. <laughs> You dear, are you all right? Yeah. I, 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 you look great, by Thanks. the way. I, 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 just, mean, I always, now I'm, I've been tugging at my dress and I can't walk in. I do this every time. Well, I'll, I'll tug at your dress if you want, <laughs> but I, I think it'll look a little creepy if you don't mind my saying so, but I'll do it. I'm, for show business, I'll do it. I'm sorry about bringing that Oscar thing up. That was such a stupid thing to say. I feel so awful. It's fine. All right. <laughs> I feel, your dress is very nice, though. Yeah, I've got to get to MB's. No! What the hell? Have you ever been on Leno? I uh, have. Oh, and on a show too? <laughs> he's great, isn't he? Uh, Jay, he's got that big band there and the really wide stage and the, uh, he's got, you know, microphones that it's work. Really I mean, it's clever. crazy what he had. <laughs> so, listen, I didn't do the emails hey, tonight. Hey, look, you've got a horse. Oh, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> what kind of horse are you talking about? You mean... Thanks for that. No, I, I thank you for the, uh, the the horse as well. He gets a couple of hundred bucks every time. I knew about that, and I totally forgot about the dancing bit, and I did get excited about the horse. Yeah, it's, it's very exciting. A live horse on stage. It's like doing Equus without all the learning the lines. <laughs> Have you ever done Equus? <laughs> it's not really a play for a girl. It's not so not much. Not so much, no, no. Do you do much theatre these days? I do do plays. Really? I just did a play. When? Before you came out? <laughs> what play did you do? I did a play in New York a couple of months ago called Through a Glass Darkly. Well, that sounds very serious. It was terribly serious. Was it really? Ooh. Is it very difficult when you're, it's very difficult when you're doing a very serious play to not... Dancing like... has messed up my hair. No, no, it hasn't. Your hair's lovely. So is yours. It's my new look. I know. <laughs> No, thanks very much. No, your hair is adorable. It's very, very nice. It's pixie-ish. Oh, thank yeah, you. people. A lot of people try and pull that off, and they can't do it. Yes. You know, I tried it, and I, just, I, <laughs> I looked a fool. No, you look very elfin and adorable. Thank you. See, when you're doing, I was going to ask you about serious play, though. When you're doing a very serious play, mm. uh, do you ever get fits of the giggles at very sad, serious bits? Because I would. <laughs> Like when some very sad things are happening, if like if I heard a little like farty noise or something in there, <laughs> I'd, I'd be I'd be gone. I, it's probably why I haven't been asked to do one. 
and a few that and a few other things. <laughs> you were in New York then? I was in New York. Did you have a nice time? It was lovely. Yeah? Pizza? Yeah. Um, not so much. <laughs> Controversial. I, I didn't know you were in Al Qaeda. <laughs> What, 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 you, don't, you don't like pizza? No, I like pizza. I just, you know, I don't like... I didn't have lots of pizza. But you, but you, but you had some. How long, how long were you in New York? How long were you in New York? Come on, play the game, girl. How long were you in New York? Like six months. Like six months. So in that six-month period, you must have had I at least had one slice like of pizza. two pizzas, maybe. At the same time? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get to the truth of this. You, I'm, I'm telling you, I want to know. So you had, you had, in six months, you had two pieces? Yeah, maybe two. Do you have anything else? If I what? Did you have anything else? You know, like a Apart salad? Apart pizza? Yeah. In six months? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I might have had a bit of sushi or something. Oh, sushi, yeah. That's what it is. It's, oh, pardon me. Oh, I didn't know. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Mm. So this film then, this, this looks good. It's another very serious one. As well. I know. The hell? I know. Can you do a sitcom for ten minutes or something? <laughs> That's where the money is, you know. In sitcoms. Oh yeah, you know what Ashton Kutcher's getting for doing that thing? An awful lot of money. Oh, gee, like it's like fifty bucks a day or something. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy, crazy money. And, uh, you can you can have pizza more than twice every six months. <laughs> he could have it every day if he wanted. Every day. <laughs> You been in Britain much? I haven't. Oh. Well, I've been there a bit. Yeah? Yeah. I've been in Sydney. Australia? <laughs> Sydney, Alaska. S Sydney, Alaska? Sydney, Alaska. Yeah, he's up there, all right. No, yeah. <laughs> well, what were you doing in Sydney, Australia, then? Um, making a film. Ah, serious, serious film about sad things? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, it's not, not that serious. It's quite serious, The Great Gatsby. Oh, yeah, it's pretty serious. Yeah, I'd say that was serious. But it's got some light moments in it. Yeah. It's got opposing viewpoints, in fact, in it. And that's the sign of an excellent mind. F. Scott Fitzgerald said that. The sign of an excellent mind is to hold two opposing, opposing viewpoints at the same time. Did he say that? He might have said it. He might not have said it. <laughs> he did say it. Did he? He did say it, and he didn't say it. That's how excellent <laughs> my mind is. Did you, like F. Scott? Did you like that Benjamin Button film? Mm -hmm. I didn't see it. Yeah, I, I didn't have the, the two days to spare to watch it either. <laughs> I'm like, I've got kids, I can't be, what was it, like four hours that movie? Or <laughs> like four hours for a movie? Excuse me! <laughs> but that's got Brad Pitt in it, he's dreamy. <laughs> you don't like Brad Pitt? No, I... I, I... Or pizza? <laughs> I do like Brad. I do very much like Brad Pitt. Yeah. Have you ever met him? I haven't. Neither have I. <clears throat> he's not. He's not been here. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps trying to come. I'm like, no, because you always want to bring Angie, and I'm like, no, I don't want you here. <laughs> Your kids tearing up the place. They're all running around. All <laughs> ah, the hell with them. Do you like Hollywood? Be honest. Hollywood. Hollywood. Not the, the area, I mean the, the kind of the oh, show the business. Oh, the thing. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. I don't know. I, like I went to, uh, I mean, I like, I like, I like LA a little, like a little bit. I like, <laughs> I do, I like, I like it sunny. Yeah. Good. There's a lot of places that are sunny, you don't have to come here. I like Dis. I went to Disneyland yesterday. You did not. I went to Disneyland. Really? Yeah. Well, that's, that's nice. Did you get one of those uh, passes to jump the line? No. You didn't? They're so expensive. <laughs> you got money. I mean, come on, you're making films. You don't spend it on pizza. I come make, on. I make serious films. Yeah, it's serious. That's true. Serious films. Not a, lot of money. Not a lot of money in the serious films. That's true. You have to make real crap if you want to make dough. <laughs> Which is weird because this show is not serious and there's no money in it. I don't know. Like, what the hell? You have a horse. <laughs> I tell you, you're lucky I've got my new look going on or I'd be furious. I've missed you. I missed you so much I cancelled the commercial breaks. I'll probably get me fired, you know. <laughs>
I would be all right. <laughs> Ever been fired? Ever been? Yes. Really? I have. I got fired from being a waitress. Wow. <laughs> well, it, uh, it was my first night, and um, and I had a big tray, and you're not, and I had six wine glasses and two bottles of wine, and I grew up in hotels, so I said, you mustn't. It's a terrible idea. It doesn't you mustn't ever carry wine bottles like that or glasses? And they said, do it. And I did it, and I took it over to the table, and I just tipped the entire thing, and they, it, all the wine and all the glasses went all over the table, and they fired me on the spot. You're awesome. <laughs> Grew up in a hotel? I did. You're people travelling folk? <laughs> well, well healed travelling folk? We go from hotel to hotel across the world. Restless, always moving, always moving. <laughs> that would be awesome, wouldn't it? It'd be some, like some kind of really rich kind of nomad just going from four seasons to four seasons. <laughs> I, I would do that. No, we, we were um, hotel management folk. Ah. I know. That's great. Well, it's kind of like Faulty Towers. Yes. <laughs> That's lovely. I, I, should, I, should I do some kind of TV-related thing here soon? Like stop? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, Kerry, we're out, of, we're out of time, apparently. Uh, do you fancy um, a mouth organ, awkward pause, or you could go for the gig, the gig, the big cash prize? Is there a big cash prize? Oh, yeah. Oh, big cash prize. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 50 US dollars in singles, acceptable at any strip club in the United States. <laughs> All you have to do is answer one question. Okay. All right. Here I thought is. you were joking. No, it's real. It's real money. Look, smell it. I don't have any money. I mean, I, do, I, mean, I, do, I just came from Sydney, so I don't have any... You don't have any money? Well, there you are, then. There's, there's, uh... it smells odd. Yes. <laughs> you know, um, Matt Smith was here last night, and he smelled it. Doctor Who, Matt? Yeah, Doctor Who, Matt. You know, because you were in Doctor Who. You did the... I was in Doctor Who before Matt Oh, yeah, it was David Tennant. No, yeah. Doctor Who. Well, still Doctor Who. brilliant. He is, yeah. They're both fantastic. They're both brilliant. Yes. <clears throat> Good night, everybody. Uh... <laughs> All right, then. You have to answer one question, and you can win the $50. Is it trivial? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes is the answer. Look at this show. Yes, of course it's trivial. I don't mean it. You know what I mean. All right, then. You ready? Okay. Yeah. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Oh, no. It's wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Yeah. By what nickname oh. is Barbara Millicent Rogers known? <laughs> Barbara Millicent Rogers. By what nickname is she, the doll with the boyfriend Ken, known? Barbie! Yes! $50, Kerry Morgan! Hooray! 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 Um, look, uh, during my conversation with uh, Kerry Mulligan, I inadvertently said that Rhea Perlman was on um, Taxi. She was, of course, on Cheers. So that angry email or letter that you've already sent off, <laughs> wasting your uh -oh time. <laughs>